Hi guys, it's me, and I'm sorry if I sound weird. I just woke up a couple minutes ago, and sorry about me scratching my head. It was itchy. Um, so today in this video, I'm going to do a movie review, because I haven't done one since May, and I decided to do one. Do one. So I'm going to get started, and today's review is going to be Tangled. So Tangled is about this princess named Rapunzel, who is, Rapunzel is loosely based off of the story of Rapunzel who is um, voiced in both speaking and singing by Mandy Moore, who wants to um, leave her tower to go see the folding lanterns that appear on her birthday, but she's forbidden by her guardian, who is Mother Gothel, who, Gothel or Madam Gothel, who is voiced in both speaking and singing by Donna Murphy. Murphy. So later on she meets um, this thief whose name is Flynn Ryder, who is voiced in both speaking and singing by Zach Zachary Levi or Levy, I don't know how to pronounce it. If you guys know how to pronounce it, please just let me know in the comments below. And she want, decides to get him to take her to see the floating lanterns that appear every year on her birthday. Okay, so to start off, I really like, I really love Tangled. It was an awesome movie. I'm so glad I saw it. I had heard so many great things about that movie. I heard a lot of people talk about it, which made me want to see it. And that's what happens sometimes Times with me is like when I hear, that happens a lot with me and I bet it happens a lot with you guys is when you hear people talk, a lot of people talk about like famous singer, famous actor, famous movie and blah, 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 blah. You want to go see it. See it like for instance, for example, when I, I got into Taylor Swift when I was in high, I think middle or high school, I can't remember. And because I had heard so many great things about her. I heard a lot of people at school like talk about her so much. I was like, she's so great, blah, 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 blah. She's so great. Hey, you should listen to her. Yeah. So, so I'll get like so sucked in, into something when I hear people talk about like one great person or great movie. Movie. It was pretty. Movie. It's pretty cool. And I bet that happens to a lot of you guys. And I really liked Tangled, like, the first two times I saw it. I thought it was a great movie. It's funny, fun. It's got a lot of great singing and dancing. It's a great movie, even though it's loosely based off the story of Rapunzel. But I think it's really good and funny. I love all the characters. I love all the songs. And it just makes me laugh a lot. Next, I'm going to talk about the director. This film was directed by Byron Howard. I am pretty familiar with some of his works. Like he directed the movie Lilo and Stitch, Mulan, Poca M Lilo and Stitch, which is one of my favorites. Mulan, which is also one of my favorites. Let me know if you guys want me to review it down in the comments below. Oh, along with Pocahontas, Chicken Little. I love Chicken Little. You know, let me know if you want to review those two as well down below. Um, Bolt, which I've only seen like once, and then um, there's Tangled Ever After, which I watched on YouTube. That's a great short. short. So he's a pretty good director. I'm pretty, pretty familiar with some of his works. Now I'm going to talk about the characters. I love Rapunzel. I love how she's so like adventurous. I love those, ca those female characters that are so adventurous and will do whatever it takes to I love how she'll do whatever it takes to go out and see the world, especially the floating lanterns. It's so cool. Cool how she's like so adventurous, will not give up on her dream. And I love those characters that are so adventurous, they won't give up on their dreams. It's really cool. Well, I don't know. I just find them really interesting because cause they make me want to keep like going for my dream and not give up for it. I think that's why, and I love how she's so clumsy, it's actually pretty funny how she's extremely clumsy, and I love her paintings too, she's a great artist, I love how she like paints a lot on her walls, and she, she's like, um, like constant, and she's also like, since she's been like locked up for so long, she's not used to like the outside world world and she like is a little freaked out by things especially like a bunny hopping out of the bushes it is pretty funny funny how she's freaked out by that even though she's been out and she's never been out in the world it is pretty funny and she is voiced by Mandy Moore in both speaking and singing thinking Mandy Moore is a really great singer singer I've heard her sing in this movie and I do have an album if you guys saw my CD collection you know that I have a Mandy Moore CD CD, she is a great singer. 
singer. I just love her singing voice. It's really pretty. And then Mandy Moore, I'm familiar with her in the movie License to Wed, which I've already seen. It's really funny. Be funny. Let me know if you guys want me to review that in the comments below. Um, Tangled Ever After, which I've only seen like once or twice, which is like a mini sequel to Tangled. It's really cool. Cool, because it's like the wedding. Sorry if I give out those who haven't seen it. Next character I'm going to talk about is Flynn Rider slash Eugene Fitzherbert. And what I like about him, he is so funny. He's like a laughing stock. Like, he always complains about his um, nose getting messed up. Messed up. He's pretty clumsy, too. Clumsy, too. Like, he gets hit with the frying pan. He, like, um, fights with the horse a lot. Uh, even though a horse would probably, like, kill kill him or something. He, um, let me think. He's really clumsy. And he's always, like, put in, like, si like weird situations. Situations, which is pretty funny. <laughs> funny and he, a lot of people make fun of him. They're, like, they're always, like, messing up his nose on his, like, wanted signs. It is pretty funny. <laughs> Funny how he ends up with a messed up nose. And he is voiced in both speaking and singing by Zachary Levi, Levi, L-E-V-I. I think it's pronounced Levi. I have no idea. And he, and Zachary Levi, I'm only familiar with him as Eugene Fitzherbert in the movie Tangled Ever After. And then the next I'm going to talk about Mother Gothel. So, Mother Gothel, what I, I, she's one character that I really don't like. Like, so Mother Gothel, um, Thor is, like, so greedy and selfish. I do not like her at all. Oh, sorry, I'm still kind of waking up. Um, I do not like her at all because she just wants to use Rapunzel's hair to make herself young and beautiful. Well, and she's jealous of Rapunzel's beauty, but that's, but I like, pretty much, I hate to say this, but I do kind of like those villains that when there's, you have a beautiful girl and then you have a villain who's like, doesn't have good, who's like kind of ugly and somewhat, even though she's like aging, even though she, her character's like aging, she, um, they can become jealous of the beauties and they will do whatever it takes to make them to either get rid of them or become more beautiful than them than them or make keep themselves young young forever ever i like those kind of villains i don't know why they just so make the story more interesting to me me and she is voiced in both speaking by in singing by Donna Murphy. And Donna Murphy I'm only familiar with as the character Rose Octavius in Spider-Man 2 and I have seen Spider-Man 2. It's an awesome movie. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to review Spider-Man 2. <laughs> Next I'm going to talk about the thugs. I really like the thugs in the movie. I thought they were really funny. They, um, funny. They, funny. I love like how they're all, like, all tough and, and a couple minutes later they'll go into like a musical sequence. It is pretty funny. Funny. And I do like the song they sing. It's really cool. Really cool. And I'm not going to get into too much detail with like who does the voices of all the thugs because that's going to take up way too much time. So I just put down the thugs and thugs because like um that because if I did all their voices that was going to take up way too much time and make the video too long and I did not want to make the video too long long and yeah I like how they are pretty funny with like they're acting all tough at first and then later on they go into like a musical sequence their musical sequence is pretty funny funny and I like the song they sing it's pretty cool next I'm going to talk about the Stabbington brothers I do not like them because um they're, they have, even though they work with Ryder at first, they later on go against him because, um, he steals, like, the stuff that they stole together, there, and, come on, and they'll do whatever it takes to get rid of Ryder, <sighs> sorry, and, Yeah, they'll just do whatever it takes to get, um, rid of Ryder. <laughs> Ryder, and they'll, like, try to steal what he stole. 
stole, like, they're, like, worse or thieves than he is. <laughs> he is, and they're voiced by Ron, both voiced by Ron per Perlman. And Ron Perlman, I'm pretty familiar with his voice in the movie Titan AE, which I've only seen, like, once or twice. And then he was the voice of the character Kago in the movie Tarzan 2, which I've only seen, like, once. And I like this, another thing I like about the movie is the setting. I don't know exactly where the movie takes place, but my guess is it takes place in Germany because it kind of looks like Germany. I've never been to Germany, but I do have some family members from Germany. Germany, but I've seen, and I've also seen, like, pictures of them in Germany, like, on Facebook and stuff. Stuff, and it is a pretty cool country. Country, and it's really pretty, too. Yeah, so, yeah, that's just my guess is the story, because it's a German story, it takes place in Germany. I have no idea where it takes place. I did a whole bunch of research, and I could not figure out where it take, took place. Next, I'm going to, well, this is getting long, so I'm going to try to talk, I'm not going to talk really fast because I have enough time. So, I'm going to talk about the songs. Um, I love the song, When Will My Life Begin, which is sung by Mandy Moore. Again, she has a great voice, and I do have a video up of me singing that song, and if you're interested, I will put the link down below, along with my top ten Disney princesses. I love when the reprise to When Will the first reprise to When Will My Life Begin. That was good, and it was also sung by Mandy Moore, along with the second When Will My Life Begin reprise, and that was good as well. And then you have the song... Mother You Know Is Best, I thought that was pretty catchy by Donna Murphy. Donna Murphy's a really good singer, I have to admit, along with Mandy Moore. And then I've Got a Dream is sung by all the thugs. So I Brad Garrett, Jeffrey Tambor, Mandy Moore, Zachary Levi, and the rest of the thugs. I thought that was a pretty fun song. It is pretty catchy, I have to admit. I, yeah. And then... Mother Knows Best reprise, I do like Donna Murphy singing. She did a good job on that. I like the Healing Incarnation, which is a good one. When Rapunzel sings and heals people's wounds with her hair, that is pretty cool. I forgot to mention, I do like Rapunzel's power of when she heals like people's wounds with her hair. Hair, that's pretty cool. And then, um, I See the Light is a pretty good duet, which is sung by M Mandy Moore and Zachary Levi. <laughs> Okay, so I would recommend Tangled to anybody who likes, um, who likes hair, people with healing hair, um, great singing and musical sequences, because this movie has some great musical sequence. I would also recommend this to people that like the story of Rapunzel, even though this is loosely based off of the story Rapunzel, and I would also recommend it to anybody who just, like, likes humor, because this movie has a lot of great humor. Okay, so that was my reviewed on re reviewed. I mean, review on Tangled. So I hope you guys liked this video. Wow, this is a lot shorter than my last couple movie reviews. Views, but I'm sorry this was so long again. But anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any requests, please leave them down below, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.